greetings everyone here in this series i want to show you how to solve an equation using lambert w function lambert w function is a method types of equation for example x raised to power of x equals to 2 x raised to power of x equals to 3 x raised to power of x equals to 1 x raised to power of x equals to 5 and and so on now, I will show you how to apply this method, although the method is not limited to x raised to power x alone. Sometimes, you can, it depends on how logical you are. You can use it to solve, solve some other equations like e x raised to power e equals to, and so on. Another one again, we have a raised to power x plus bx plus c equals to any variable you can use it to solve it depending on how logically you can think how logical you are now i will show you how to apply it here and i'll give you some hints concerning how to apply it to any other question but before we proceed to that you must be familiar with log reading log reading is represented as log when we have logarithm of x, we say log x and anti-logarithm. And you know also know that anti-logarithm means 10 raised to the power of x. For example, when we have x equals to 5. And maybe you take the log of both sides. Log x equal to log 5. Now, if you want to take the log inverse, you will say x equals to 10 raised to the power of log 5. So anti-logarithm means 10 means 10 raised to the power of the any number you are taking as the opponent but here i want to show you just similar to logarithm we have natural logarithm also natural logarithm is represented as in x that is natural logarithm and the inverse of natural logarithm is e exponents as we have inverse of logarithm as 10 we also have the inverse of um natural logarithm as e now our work is based on natural logarithm and e i'm just trying to show you the relationship how e is related to natural logarithm by citing an example of logarithm and anti-logarithm also in applying lambert w function you must also be familiar with this identity w of x e raised to the power x equal to x that is the main formula in Lambert W function. W is called the omega function. You can call it the omega function. You can also call it the product log. Product log. And it is the main function in Lambert W function. That is the main function. Note the formula because that is what our work is based on. Example number one. Now we want to apply Lambert W function in solving x raised to power x equals to one in making x the subject of formula. This is considered the easiest because natural logarithm of one is zero, such la such as log one equals to zero. You understand better as we proceed. Now, from the formula and uh, from the question, take the natural logarithm of both sides. We have in x raised to the power of x equal to in 1 just like we take the logarithm of both sides in our simple equation now remember the formula for logarithm just like for natural logarithm there's many similar and uh, there are similarities between natural logarithm and logarithm just like this log x raised to the power x means the x standing as the power will come to the back just like logarithm x in x equal to in one is zero if you check your calculator any calculator any calculator like your white calculator you can check it or even your phone calculator in one is zero now we have x in x equals to zero but note that remember the formula that w of x e is for x equals to x note that same thing here and the same thing is at the is the power of e why where e is the exponent or euler number some people call it euler number you can call it euler number also now back to this how can we make this in this how can we make this expression appear in this form x e raised to the power x or 
A e raised to the power A. So that you won't be confused. I will say A e raised to the power A. How can you make X in X to appear in a form A e raised to the power A? What you just have to do is to raise this. Just like we have anti log of log X. It will give, when this cancels up, it will give us X. So likewise, anti log of log X. When it cancels out, it will give us what? X. Similarly, x can be written as e raised to the power in x. Just like antilog of log, we have exponent of in x equal, okay, in x, the ones there before, equal to 0. Now, let's modify it a little. In x, by bringing this to the back, in x, e raised to the power in x equal to 0. Now, we have... A, assuming in x is a, we have a e raised to the power a. Now it appears in this form. So what can we do? Take the take the omega function of both sides. What we do here is just to apply the function to both sides. W of what? In x e raised to the power in x. In x, e raised to the power in x equal to what? W of 0. You know, we apply the function to both sides. We put W here and we put W here. Now, W of a e raised to the power a. From the formula, W of x e raised to the power x is what? x. Where this is representing x. W of x e raised to the power x is what? x. That is in x. Okay, to bring it down further, a little bit further, we say w of a e raised to the power a is a, where a is representing in x here. So we have in x equal to w of 0. And once you take the inverse of this one, like we've done before in our simpler equation, we say x equal to e raised to the power w of 0. Now, you can simplify further by saying W of 0 is 0. W of 0 equals to 0. You may want to evaluate any other function. You may use Wolfram Alpha. That is the calculator that, uh, that contains the function, W function. But our, our smaller calculators like Casio FX, FX991MS, Casio EX, and Y calculators, they are smaller calculators compared to Wolfram Alpha. So, they don't contain the function w so you can check up for them it is advisable that you contact wolfram alpha for your computation but we can also work this out manually w of zero is what zero e raised to zero you know that zero times anything is zero so it means this is t equal to what zero so w of zero e raised to zero is zero x equal to e since w of 0 is 0, e raised to the power 0, and e raised to the power 0 is 1. Any number raised to the power of 0 is 1, except 0. So e raised to the power 0 is 1. Now we have that x equal to 1. That's the answer. You may find some trivial solutions. If you really want to derive the general formula for it.